do we have here? It's a Sperry bomb site from World War II. Do you know anything about it? Well, basically, they uh, were developed during World War II to guide the bombs down. The government spent $8,000 each on these in 1942. The Allies dropped millions of tons of bombs during World War II. But they didn't have guidance systems like they have today, so dropping them accurately was really tough. A bomb site had to factor in airspeed, altitude, and a lot of other variables. It was a really complicated machine. This is a first, so I had my buddy Mark come down and take a look. It's not a bomb site. There we go. <laughs> a bomb site was much more involved even than this. OK. But it is part of a World War II bomber aircraft system. So it is a piece of a bomber, but no, it's not a bomb site. Thanks for coming in, Matt. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Glad I could help. Thanks a lot. Didn't you say your wife wanted to get rid of it? Yeah, she didn't want it in the house. Dust collector. Well, how much would you take? Thousand. Have fun pissing off your wife. <laughs> <laughs>How you doing? I've got a World War II flight jacket that belonged to my father and some mission logs that he kept while he was flying around in a tin can. All right, so this was your father's? It was. What kind of plane did he fly in? The B-17. B-17 Flying Fortress was an amazing aircraft. They returned from missions half destroyed, and somehow or the other, they were still able to fly. The men who flew them loved them, but that said, thousands of them were shot down. So what's in the logs? Is there any here from D-Day? This is all 1944. Uh, there should be, because right. he was in flight on D-Day. I've gotten a couple of World War II bomber jackets, but never with corresponding paperwork. This is going to make it worth so much more money. So how much were you looking to get out of it? I was hoping maybe go to $2,500. But I can't do 2500 bucks. I will do 12. I will do $1,200, and that would be my tops. OK, I'll agree to the 12. All right. It's a deal. You want to write it up, Corey? Yeah, just follow okay, me. OK, thanks. They have a B-17 bomber on display in Vegas this week. And I decided to go take a look at it, and Rick sent Chumley along to drive me. Let's get out there early, Chumley, to beat this crowd. Oh, good morning. How are you folks today? We're good. Welcome to the EAA B-17. This thing's awesome, boss. The interesting thing about the B-17, this was designed in 1935. 10 years prior to that, they were making airplanes out of tube, wood, and fabric. So this airplane is a huge technological leap from an aviation point of view. This airplane lives up to its name, the Flying Fortress, because really the 13 50 caliber machine guns. Their field of fire, they could pretty much protect the plane from any direction. Look at those guns. It's an amazing aircraft, and they're taking us on a flight. This is awesome, huh, boss? This thing might be old like me, but I feel completely relaxed flying in it. It was great. Felt like I was young again. Thank you, you very much. You have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for the tour. Coming. Thank you, sir. You know what, Chumlin? What? I should have bought the damn thing. Hell yeah.